welcome to Trading Lounge and the S&P 500 for the 18th of September. So, um, this count here, we need to stay with this count until proven otherwise, and proven otherwise would be seeing this top being taken out uh, here. This move down here does appear to be in five waves on the cash market, so um, we're still looking for it to move a little bit higher and then move down. Now I do have another count besides all of this that is more bullish. Um, this is the bearish count where we have the A wave here, the B wave here, and then five large waves down for wave C here. So the bullish count is this count here where we have down the bottom here we have wave one here, wave two here, and then five waves up, one, two, three, four, five, Five here for the third wave, then an A and a B and a C for wave four. That would pull back to the 38.2% retracement level, which is the wave four of one lesser degree. And then we would move up from that point there. So um, let's go in and have a look at this little uh, area through here for this. So on the one hour chart here, as I mentioned, we can count this down here on the cash market as five waves. So because we've got five waves here, that means that after a corrective move, we should get another five waves uh, coming down into this space here. So we can count this here as an A wave here, a B wave here, and then we're looking to count C wave up here in five waves. So once those five waves are finished, and we'll look at those in detail, but once those five waves are finished here then we'll have a top here so this top here then that be that will become the catalyst for uh, a trigger to the upside in case we're wrong at that point otherwise um, we'll be moving down from that point so what we need to do here is understand well the a wave here or wave one and a b and c for the wave b here or wave two here I think it's a wave B if, if it's anything because this is taking too much time here. So a B wave can be, well, wave structures always alternate simple, complex, simple or more complex. So th if this was simple here, then we would look for wave, um, well, this is just the first leg here. So we'd, if this is wave one here, then wave two would be swift, sharp and shortly lived and that's not the case here this is spent more time being in this process than this process here so we've either got a b wave here or we're going to be going further up from this point here so as i mentioned before there is a gap at 3006 here that needs to be filled so there's another point to go on the cash market before that gets filled but i can see that this structure here will take us higher to fill that sort of gap here and we've mentioned earlier in the week that this uh, 3010 here if that becomes the support the tested support we can trade long from that point there as well we'll build into the trade so a small position here then another one on top of the 20 and then we wait to see if 30 becomes support because if 30 becomes the support that's the top of group one here if that becomes the support then the market will start to lift us all its orders up and look at this next number here this number five here and we'll forget about the three here for a while so um, let's go in and have a look at this on the tick chart here this is 100 ticks so I'll just get a bit more data in here say say a week <clears throat> considering this the top here let's just go over this for a moment shall we one by one here we can count five waves down to here then an ABC here for wave two here then we can count down five waves here well even to this point and then wave two then wave one two three four and five for wave three then wave four here and then down here for uh, wave five here of three here on one degree short here this should be a different color here not to worry and then wave four and wave five so 
we can essentially count five waves down through to this point here. So that means that after a corrective move, an ABC pattern pulling back 61.8% or even higher, it doesn't really matter that much, um, <coughs> then we should move down again. So this move up here, we can count this as wave A here, and then we've got a three wave move here for, uh, for wave B in terms of an A and a B and a C wave here. That can be counted a bit differently. That wave B can also be put here by looking at that. The only problem I've got with this here is that this particular wave one here doesn't count very well in this space here. It would probably count better if that was sitting over here and but we don't normally get expanded flats in this particular wave one here so but I'll still I'll just anyway this is a problem area if anybody's got a resolve for that please uh, let us know and then this little structure here is easy to count so we can count this say wave two coming back here then wave one here, wave two here, then one and two here and three here and four here and five here for the third wave. Then we'll come back for the fourth wave here and then we'll move up to the fifth wave here. So 10 is the first level above here, but also too, um, there is, if I look at, I'll just bring across my 20 tick chart here. I just want to show something else. So normally we would look be looking at well 10 and then 20 and so on but we can also get the, the get the trading levels within with from from 3000 to 3010 here which would be uh one two and three here and then five and then eight and this is group two here so the 65 number here and the 72 number in here which would be the 7.20 in here so um <clears throat> All the levels play out nicely here. So what <clears throat> five is the second strongest number. So that's where we are now at number five here. And we can see that we've got this this corrective pattern across this particular level here. So we should see that move up into group two here and then come back this way for come back and uh, test. So it can come up and hit 64. Five or 72 and drop back and hit hit number four here and then move up from uh, from that point there so just splitting hairs here a little bit um, so anyway yeah just wanted to explain the levels between um, from zero to ten here you can also put them in there and they're very valuable at that point too so this is sort of where we are with this if I can just squash this back in here a little bit so this leg moving up here as one and two here and then going up for wave three here which will sit on ten wave four here and then wave five can take us um, wherever up at this point in in this space here up into 15 to 18 here maybe even a tad higher depending on the sentiment and the emotional uh, reaction to whatever events are taking place so that's where we are at the moment now <clears throat> if you're going to go I mean the idea here would be to trade in a trend to the upside we would want to see to, like a safe trend you can go along here now and keep the stop here about probably um, 3002 that should keep you pretty safe and get higher up from that point. The other point here that I want to make is that to go long, we've got, we could have gone long across here, sitting on support here, but one and two here and three and four and five. So when that, I can't draw on this side of the tick chart here, but let's just go three, four and five here. Once that fifth wave comes into play here, that fifth wave here, if I can just copy that for a moment and put that here, then that becomes the catalyst for the trigger to here and then we can bring it down here and we can bring it down through here any breach of these here would be that because this is 
breaching the top of this fifth wave here would tell us tell me that I'm wrong and the market's going higher and that we need to be on it at that point so this is what we would do at that point so you can trade it long now you just got to keep the stop out of the way here for the moment and that will get you up into uh, between 10 and 15 up here so <clears throat> that's not such a bad thing but I'll just uh, leave I won't Put that in as a trade um, such and if I'm wrong to the downside then this low here if it's breached then you can short from that point there but this is the top of that little fifth wave area through here so if you wanted to go along here I'll just put that uh, in here and I'll just put that as a very thin line in here so it's just a small position and keep the stop you know, out of the way down at um, 3,002 at that stage. And it might come in handy this trade because if we're if we're <clears throat> if we're wrong and the market's going to continue to the upside, well then that becomes a valuable little asset there. Alrighty, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support and uh, happy trading. Unless it's done. Really? Just holding up some flights.